Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan Corbett. I'm a real life, full-time photographer, videographer, and Airbnb super host. I'm passionate about all the things that I do and today I'm going to talk to you about my nine steps on how I set big goals and achieve them, which is the whole idea. This happens to be the beginning of the new year, so I'm sure there are lots of emotionally driven videos out there set to inspire people to go out and realize their dreams. But none of them are any good if they don't equip you with practical step-by-step -step advice on how you can actually make it happen. So without further ado, here are my nine steps with personal examples. Step number one, write a long list of things you want to accomplish most in the world. Go ahead, strike a yoga pose, dig deep in your heart and mind and think about work, your personal life, that car you've always wanted, whatever it is, and write some things down you want to change and make a reality. Go wild. This is a fun and easy step to get started on, so enjoy it. Just keep things realistic. I'll let you interpret that however you want. Step number two, take that list you made and select the five most important and urgent goals that need to be accomplished. These are your immediate goals that you are going to have laser focus on. Step number three, take the list of the five most important things and order those five in order of sequence you're going to accomplish them in. This is an important piece to the puzzle because now you're going to start thinking logistically about how you can actually get things done. At this point, I'll be happy to share my list as an example. My five most important and urgent goals in order of sequence that needs to be achieved is 1. Get healthy and in shape. 2. Strictly follow Dave Ramsey's 7 financial baby steps. 3. Plan and fund 2 vacations this year. 4. Launch my course on how to build a photography business. And 5. Get the first Datsun 240Z finished, which is a car project. Let me explain why I did my list this way. Health is listed first because it's something that is a constant. It's something that doesn't make any sense to put off. It's an everyday thing. I can do this no matter what else is going on in my life. Putting it first is obvious. Strictly following Dave Ramsey's seven financial baby steps is also a daily constant, so I put that at number two. Number three for me is planning and funding two vacations. This is something my wife and I have agreed to make a priority this year. I put it where it is in the sequence because I need to block off time now and start saving in order to make it happen this year. Number four on my list is launching my course on how to build a photography business. This is something I've been working on for a while now and has been making good progress, but it hasn't gotten to a launch point because I have haven't made it a priority, so now it's a priority. The final goal is getting one of my two Datsun 240Zs on the road because we have a family member getting married and they have asked to use it as a getaway car. I have other things like purchasing another Airbnb that is technically more important than the car project, but because of the wedding date, this car project is taking priority due to urgency. For now, buying an Airbnb isn't on the list. All in all, I think my list explains pretty well what I mean by sequence. Now, let's move on to step number four in accomplishing your goals. Step number four, it's time to write yourself a statement outlining how you're going to accomplish each goal in precise, quantifiable terms. This is the hardest step because it takes the most time and consideration. It may take a few days or even weeks of research, but it's important to get it to a point where you can clearly understand and communicate the steps you need to take to get to where you want to go. For an example, here's my health statement. It's kind of long, but it gives you the best idea of what I mean when I say precise and quantifiable. In order to be fit and healthy, I'm going to change my diet and exercise so that I can lose an average of two pounds a week until I get down to my goal weight of 168 pounds and a body fat percentage below 20%. I'm going to accomplish this by following my diet plan of 1700 daily calories net at a 40% protein, 30% fat, and 30% carbs percentage split and following a five day split weight lifting plan. I will also incorporate a 16-8 intermittent fasting window if I need to. I can track all this easily and conveniently through a few apps I'm already using on my phone. I will also schedule and show up to a doctor's visit to get proper health tests and medical advice. Once I achieve my goal, I will reevaluate my health and continue with a new weight and body composition. Now you see why this may take you some time to get together, but please listen to me here because this is where people mess it up. You have got to actually research and lay out a clear plan that will actually get you results. If you stop short of putting in enough effort or put a bunch of effort into a bad plan, it can really discourage you and even make you think that your efforts are worthless. So don't cut corners. 
and consider as many variables as you possibly can and make a plan. Step number five. Now that you have your five goals with statements on how you're going to accomplish them, it's time to create an action list based off your statements that you can review daily with many steps that you can check off as you progress. This list should be on your person at all times. Step number six. Now that you understand the scale of what you're trying to accomplish, it's time you add start and finish dates to your action list. This is where things get very real. Here's my complete list with dates as an example so you can check it out. Step number seven. Pursue your goals every day until they are accomplished. This is where the rubber meets the road. Even though now you know exactly how to accomplish your goals and how fast you can make it happen, it's all just hopes and dreams if you don't actually follow the plan and see it through to the end. As a wise man once said, it's not enough to know how to do a push-up, you actually have to do them. Step number eight. If you do follow through with step number seven, in the near future, you're going to be living one of your dreams. This is something that will feel unreal. Make sure to take time to savor and appreciate the fact that you have manifested something that was previously only part of your imagination. This is a sweet flavor that some people never taste in their entire life. Enjoy it. Step number nine, do it again. You aren't dead yet. You've got lots of years ahead of you and an endless realm of possibilities. What are you going to do now that you've realized what you're capable of? Go back to step one and dream again. You'll find that what you previously thought was an unrealistic idea is now 100% possible and you can do it. In your view, the nine steps are one, make a long list of dreams. Two, select the top five most urgent and important. Three, put the list of five in order of sequence they can be accomplished in. Four, write down precisely how you're going to accomplish each goal. Five, create an action plan broken down into mini steps and keep it with you. Six, add start and end dates to your action plan. Seven, pursue your goals every day and see them through to the end. Eight, savor the victory and nine, do it again. If you liked these nine steps, please give me a like on the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to be putting a lot more out this year on my channel. So feel free to subscribe and ring that bell. The videos will all be centered around my professional life as a photographer, videographer, and Airbnb super host. But I also talk about subjects that could pertain to professional lifestyles. Also, I will respond to all your comments. So feel free to tell me what you think of my nine steps. I'm always looking to improve my process. Thanks so much. And always remember to learn, apply, and succeed.